Hi! Today I've got another Halloween inspired tutorial and this time I'm going to show you how to make a bat necklace. So you're going to need some black clay which you need to roll into a ball. You then need to shape it so it is a kind of oval shape. Now we're going to make the wings, so roll out some clay and then use a tool to cut it in half. We're going to use each half but for now you only need one. So start out by rolling out some more clay into a really long snake. This is going to be kind of the detail of the wings. So you need to take semi-circle and cut it, cut it into a triangle shape. So now using a circular cutter, cut out two tiny little semi-circles right next to each other. And now we're going to cut up the long snake and stick two parts of clay on each edge and another on the middle. Now I'm just cutting one of the corners off and sticking it to the back. I'm also using a spare bit, bit of wire to secure the wing to the back's body. So now you just want to do exactly the same thing and make your second wing. You want to make sure it's the same size as the other wing because it will look a bit strange if the bat has two differently sized wings. and stick it on and smooth it over again. So this is what you should have so far. So now I'm going to make the ears. Just take a tiny bit of clay and roll it into a ball and make it pointy. You need to do this twice and you need to make sure that they are stuck on it so they won't break off. And this is what I've got so far. So to make it into a necklace you need to have a eye pin. You need to cut it down and just stick it in between the ears. And now you can cook it. You need to cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes. So now it's cooked, we're ready, we're ready to paint on the eyes. I'm using white paint because obviously if I use black paint on a black clay, you're not going to be able to see it. So you need to carefully paint on two white dots for all the eyes. I'm using a cocktail stick to do this because it's a lot easier than a brush and it gives you more control. So once you've done that and the paint has dried, you are now ready to varnish it. You'll need a paintbrush and some varnish. So now I'm going to attach the chain to the bat. So I've got a jump ring which I'm opening with my pliers and hooking it, hooking it through the eye pin. And then shutting it close. And then threading the chain through the eye pin. And this is what you should have once you've finished it and it's attached to the necklace. It's really good for Halloween and will look great if you're going as a devil or a witch. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a like. So my last video is on the left, if you click on it you, it will take you to the video where I did a speed draw. Or you can click the button on the right so you will know when I next have a video up as you will be subscribed to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.